here we have a system of three masses attached by strings m1 m2 m3 are masses in kg t1 and t2 are tensions within the strings it is accelerating to the right so how do we determine tension t1 and t2 okay don't forget what i taught you before whenever we see three non zero masses you put all three masses m1 m2 m3 all right let's go back to m1 what do we see for m1 we have it is on a surface so we expect normal force so we expect normal force i put f n 1 normal force 1 and then we have m1 g gravitational force will always be there on a non zero mass and then if you go back you see that tension t1 now tension is always a pulling force right so t1 is to the right for m1 but t1 is to the left for m2 remember it is a pulling force so t1 the direction of tension t1 is to the right for m1 for m2 the direction of tension t1 is to the left all right it is always a pulling force so it is to the right so let's put that in black tension t1 all right now we have to put the same tension t1 on m2 and again you have m2g gravitational force will always be will always be there for a non zero mass and then we have f f n 2 f n 2 and m 2 g should be equal in length all right so we covered the normal force we covered the gravitational force we covered the tension on the left we also have tension on the right so that is t2 there is no friction right there is no friction and then for m3 what do we have we have tension t2 but m3g is so gravitational force m3g and then what is acting up tension t2 that gives us three equations all right now if you look at mass m1 net force along the vertical is equal to zero so what can you say net force along the vertical is equal to zero that means fn1 equals m1g so net force along the horizontal equals m1a so this is your x and this is your y all right net force along the horizontal equals m1a that means what t1 equals m1a when you look at mass m2 again we have net force along the vertical net force along the vertical is equal to zero what does that give us implies f n2 equals m 2g for the horizontal it is accelerating to the right right it is accelerating to the right so what does that mean the bigger force is to the right t2 is to the right the opposing force is t1 to the left so you say bigger force minus small force equals net force so you say net force along the horizontal is equal to m2a and that gives us t2 there is no friction t2 minus t1 equals m2a 
And then for the mass M3, we have M3G greater than T2. So you say M3G minus T2 equals M3A. Okay, so we have all these equations. Let's put it on another page. So for the first mass, you, we have T1 equals M1A. For the second mass, we have T2 to the right minus T1 to the left equals, there is no friction, equals M2A. For the last mass, we have M3G minus T2 equals M3A. Now you know where we are headed with this, correct? Add, so you have T1 plus T2 minus T1 plus M3G minus T2 equals M1A plus M2A plus M3A. T1, negative T1 cancels out cancels out, T2, negative T2 cancels out. So what do we get? M3 G equals, A is common, so you say A times M1 plus M2 plus M3. Or we get A is equal to M3 divided by M1 plus M2 plus M3. M3 divided by M1 plus M2 plus M3 times G. So that is your acceleration. And once you have acceleration, what do we do? Once we have acceleration, what do we do? You go back to T1 equals M1A. As M1 is given, or assume as M1 is given. And we now know what A is. So we know what is T1. And then we have, so we know how to do that. And then we have T2 minus T1 equals M2A. This is in the absence of friction, okay? T2 minus T1 equals M2A for the second mass. So we now know what is T1. So you have T2 minus M1A equals M2A. So what is T2? M1A plus M2A. Okay. And this is George Matthew signing off.